uh, last week, last time, last session, uh, for the three people that are reading, um, you guys did a thing. You fought some killer weeds, a big uh, grotesque tree thing that came out of the swamp to kill you. Um, you managed to deal with it and the crocodiles and the, the wisps that were helping try and draw you to your death. And now you've continued on your way with uh, your your friend Snapjaw, uh, the lizard folk person that you're aiming to help, I guess, take out the cultists from his home. Sounds about right, yeah. It does. Yeah. Yep. yeah, that sounds right to me. Sweet. So, uh, as you approach Castle Nerita, um, you've kind of earned Snapjaw's trust a little bit. He's discussing with you a lot. Um, various bits and pieces of uh, what to expect. Um, he's outlined some of the, the, the groups of lizard folk who are um, loyal, those who will likely always be putting up a fight. You're not going to have much of a chance to talk them around. Um, let me go to your map for you. So around uh, what he warns you is 10 minutes from Castle Nerita, you note that the land is starting to get a lot drier and, and more hard underfoot. Um, Snapjaw informs you that Castle Nerita is one of the few places that was built on dry land. Um, so dry, in fact, that they had to dig a moat around it down into the, the swamp uh, ground you know, to, to get any sort of natural defense around it. Um, the mayor uh, wasn't quite expanded into this area before the castle was built, um, but even with its uh, expansion, only the moat flooded and overflowed. Um, now the area outside the castle is swampy, but the base that the castle sits on is still solid and good. Um, this is the castle here. The fourth one stayed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that one fell into the swamp. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the castle itself is built on bedrock, uh, so its foundation is sound and mostly dry, and you can't dig through it even with hacks. Um, the castle itself uh, has been overgrown by brush and trees, um, which grow to within 20 feet, um, sort of up the side of the, the castle, uh, which makes it look pretty uh, unkempt. Um, but yeah, outside the castle, there's uh, hastily made and... Uh, poorly constructed reed huts. Um, that is a yeah. very big image. I just see it. Holy moly. I was like, oh, this is a small castle, and then I saw the thing that's like every square is 20 feet, and I was like, oh, that is much larger. <laughs> yeah, oh, every every square that size. So actually, I've, I've adjusted it so it is 4x4 four four for a 20 foot. So the squares should be. Oh, if I zoom in, I can see it now, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, that's 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 small. Wait, no. <laughs> nice. Now, it's not small, up, it's yep. just far away. Before moving up to the castle itself, um, Snapjaw sort of pulls you all to the side and is like, so what's the plan? What are we going to do? We well, first, there. it is imperative that we know where the treasure room is. He looks at you confused. Treasure? Uh, you know, gold, jewels, forks, I don't know. What do people... Tre ah, the shiny baubles. Yes, is... yes, yes. Where, where do they keep them? Most of it is stored in the castle itself, uh, below the, the ground floor. In the, the den of the castle. They have a word for it. Um, den gone. Den John. Something. Something like that. In the den gone. Okay, yes, yes, I shall. Is this signposted in any in, by any chance? Uh, you just keep going down the stairs. Perfect. Now, some of it. Some of it. Some of it's diverted up. Up to the. 
the boss's rooms. Those fancy ones in the shiny robes. Take some of the best shiny baubles. Shiny baubles. Are, are there any creatures in this dingan? Perhaps a, a Dargon or something. A Dingan Dargon? <laughs> you know, a, a Dingans and Dargon. Ah, I've heard of this game. Let's <laughs> <laughs> really roll deuces and see what happens. Uh, he says there's monsters, creatures, things even... Us lizards are scared of. Is that what you mean? There's plenty. There's plenty. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, could you tell us any more about them? Give us, you know, something of a, a heads up so that we know what we're up to. Shrugs. What would you like to know? One's a big squishy one. One's a sharp pointy one. They're both not nice. Tell me about the big squishy one. Imagine a big box. Oh. Oh dear. Squishy, squishy. And he used to Tell me about this. Sh- up and he's like, it's about this big. And he, he sort of sticks his left arm out and then he runs four paces to the right and sticks his right arm out from here to here. And he runs back, like throwing his arms left and right. And the same again up. And he tries to jump, but he doesn't jump very high. Squishy. Oh, well, that's, gray, squishy that's concerning. And uh, the the sharp pointy one. Yes. Ah, uh, tell us more about that. It's sharp and pointy and big. This big, and he does another uh, big show of from this long to this long. Some of its big pointy tail, however. Oh. But that one, the pointy one, doesn't bother us much. In fact, <laughs> if you don't see it, you're probably fine. That's all the question. If we do see it, if you do see it, well, either you're dying. Or it's killed one of your friends, and you saw it kill one of your friends. Challenge accepted. <laughs> this is why we don't need to bother with the, the treasures you see. We just need to, to kill the ones in the shiny ropes. Uh... That makes sense. We make them go away, and maybe the dragons go away. But what about the treasures? Once they are gone, if you wish to die, you can seek the treasures. Perfect. I guess if we kill them all, we can get all their treasure. You see the pause for a moment. Not the lizards, though, right? The lizards, you have give chance to to come to the right uh, side. Uh, what if they attack us first? Well, I am very scary. We need to give them a chance. The more lizard folk we can save, the better it is for us lizard folk. I, for one, want to save as many lizard folk as I possibly can. He nods. But not the frogs. Bullywogs die. All of them. Kill them all. In the throats. And their guts. And their guts. Their hearts. And their And he, he sort of mimes like what if... bits out of things. And, and kill it and choke it and jarn it and stump it. And... Ah! I Let think me... he has some unresolved issues. Let, let me present a potential future to you. What if the Bullywugs help us save the Lizardful? What would you have us do then? Save them how? 
As your furry one says, I have undissolved dishes. Well, say, like, there's a lizard who's tied up and going to be sacrificed to a big dragon, and a bully would ties it, uh, you know, uh, unties him, and they escape. Ah, good thinking. We could tie the bullywug up in his place. Then the dragons aren't angry, the cultists leave, and the bullywugs get it. I walked away, Snapchat. Well, dragon walks away, Snapchat thinks. <laughs> Bully Wug's bad. Yes, Bully Wug's bad. I agree, I like this one. I like the way he thinks and says, and says what he thinks. Well, I mean, we've killed Bully Wugs up until this point. I don't see why we can't kill a few more. Exactly. If you're, if you're going to go genocidal, you might as well finish the job. And they're unnatural. That sort of aura stenchy thing they have isn't normal. Yeah, very bad smell. Chop them up. Castle many times. Besides, I know the scaly ones don't even like the the polywogs. They're just there. Nobody likes them. So I, I guess Dragon like might ask him, he says, so, Snapjaw, do you, uh, are you a warrior? Do your wizard folk respect you? Do you have a voice that they will listen to, or do we have to persuade? That's a big word. <laughs> some of them will listen, absolutely. I know some have been wanting to fight for a long time. I can rouse them. You will make a good show of force. Maybe we we go to the huts with the bullywagga. Kill them there. Show the lizard folk we mean business. Yeah, kill the bullywags leaders. He nods. Well, the the leaderest of leadery bullywags are holed up in the castle with the humans. Ah. Uh. Scared. Scared to be out there with the. The lizard folk who might stick forks in their back. Ha ha! And he sticking a fork in, in, in the air in front of him. Ah, they're terrified. Dragon nods and then the first, uh, the smart members of the party like Aurelius and, <laughs> and Mushi. A shrug. Smart really is a bit of a stretch for this party. <laughs> the barbarian knows his place. Was that fantasy racism? <laughs> I mean, barbarian is not technically a race. So that's fine. That's classism. Oh, I mean, if you want to oh, deconstruct fantasy in general. No warfare, but class warfare. Yes. He's just getting too complicated for the poor barbarian. He doesn't understand the concept of race either. Because oh, he's a barbarian, he has to be poor, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, somebody oh, needs to flush the toilets. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so Snapjaw says, we ready? We go and kill them all? Yeah. Yes, let's do it. Fantastic. Uh, so as you, you make your way towards the castle uh, now, you're sort of coming up on that western western path on the map. Um, and yeah, you happen across the uh, first area, which is sort of these crudely made huts. Um, they're placed haphazardly on the, the boggy ground, each shaped like a, uh, like a dome. Um, the doors are open, but with a low, short uh, sort of tunnel that forces you to stoop to get into the hut um you can see that the huts are made out of reeds uh sort of with a generous layer of mud grass and dung smeared over the top um and as you you sort of walking up to the huts uh you're stomping through a few inches thick of muck um all over the ground mud swamp water uh muck trailing from the the huts themselves uh flowing out of various other holes in the the walls um, 
And yeah, this is uh, a rather disgusting area. Uh, as you come in, you see roughly half a dozen sort of giant frogs um, sort of hopping around randomly by the huts or sitting in, in pools of standing rancid water. Um, and you see uh, about six bullywugs uh, tending to them or moseying amongst the, the huts themselves. They don't seem to notice nor care uh, of your troop arriving in the area. Um, yeah, you, you move up. As you get close, uh, Snapjaw points to um, a space where two of the, the bullywugs are standing near one of the giant frogs and says, Kill them. Them, look. They're not even watching. We have a good chance. Slaughter them in their homes. Easy now. Easy, easy now. What, what do you say we kill them later and we kill them more efficiently? Looks at, uh, I'm, I'm confused. Why? Says Drag. Says Drag. Stop, don't worry. <laughs> 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 If we kill them now, we kill them bad. If we kill them later, we kill them good. He, he just raises his scaly eyebrow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> when do we kill them? If we go into the castle and the alarm goes up, then then all we've done is make a, a bunch of smelly, stinky bullywugs be able to attack us from behind stop our exit or maybe or maybe they'll go over there and he points to the um the longhouses to the the east of where you're standing and says go and they'll, they'll go and kill our lizard folk our little lizard babies hmm. ah. but remember bullywugs need to defecate Bullywood goes out into the swamp. Bullywood goes out into the forest. He's a dead Bullywood. He just looks at the ground that you're sort of standing in. Uh, they, don't, they don't go to the forest. And he, he points at like a, a particularly rancid river of muck. Look, there's one. He's just gone. Still fresh. Oh well, that goes. There goes that plan. I guess it'll be a rallying cry for the wizard folk, maybe, if they, if we make an example of these ones, maybe. Snapjaw nods. Yes, yes, rallying cry. We make them cry, and and the lizard folk <laughs> rally to it. <laughs> Lots of lizard folk want want to come see when Bullywog cries and gets hurt. Definitely. He takes a step forwards. Shall we? We killed him, yes. And he sort of swings his club, pats it into his hand. Yes. I I can't do this myself. They'll they'll make they'll make guess we murder him. <laughs> yes, quite. Sorry, that was in response to Golem. Oh, I didn't hear you. What, what did you say? Um, it's in oh, chat. I... Fancy grand. Ah, I covered it up. <laughs> um, what are you talking about? Can I try to get insight on our lizard friend? Kind of try to read his real intentions here? I mean, it's pretty clear, but... Yeah, what, what, are, you, what are you trying to... Note or like, what are you thinking? Uh, I think I'm trying to figure out whether this is more of a personal vendetta or part of some larger scheme. Roll me an insight. Oh, twenty-two. Hmm. Hmm. 
In fact, uh, Golem, as you're talking with Snapdraw, you see a couple of bullywugs talking with uh, one of the lizard folks, uh, sort of where the, the, the huts are together, and they seem to be swapping uh, a few strings of fish. What can you tell me, Golem? I am going to go very far out onto a limb here. Snapshot, you really don't like bullywugs. Yes, yes. I have not made this secret. Did, did one sleep with your husband? What? No, I... They kick us out of... They, they help cultists. They kick us out of castle. These ones seem to be trading with your people quite civilly. They don't have a choice. Um, they, they, they have to, otherwise we would starve. Surely, surely, even you can understand that. It is a, yes, a necessary arrangement. Snapjaw, you know you're loved, right? What? You are in love. <laughs> yeah, like the just because a bullywug ruined a relationship you had, there's still people in your life who love you. He falters. I. What do you, What do you mean? What do you mean? There's plenty of well, others in the sea. It, it means that, like you know, you still leave an effect on people who still have a mark on the people that you meet. And Snapjaw, I love you. This is... This Call is nothing, him whistles. No or, or anything is nothing. It's, it's to get our people free. And to do it, 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 you It's okay. Do. It, it, you don't have to hate. What was his name? <laughs> Golem says that out loud. You, you never met him. Snaggletooth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you're sort of uh, breaking through to, to Snapjaw, uh, <laughs> Morshit, you, you pull Asbara to the side um, and you're you ask Asbara about these bullywugs and he sort of shrugs. I assume if if we can take even a little bit of Snapjaw's discussion at face value, the uh, the bullywugs will know that if I'm a guest of the cult, I'm to be treated with well, the same respect they treat the cult, I suppose. And these well, I am still technically a member of the Dragon Cult, yes, so could we not just Walk in. I don't see why not. Rob them blind and leave. Well, I think that would be quite difficult. He looks over to the castle. I only see one way in. We did not really consider this plan before we came. How we would get the treasures out. Why I thought we but were so we just... um, keen on the idea of this this lizard killing everyone, I suppose, would be... Yeah, use, oh, use, that, yes, as a, yes. use that as a pretext. Yes, yes, perfect, yes. If it's a lizard lizard person revolt, we help them murder everybody in the castle. Yes, uh, blame the revolt Then put the down the... Yes, blame the revolt on this lizard person. Put down the lizard folk. One, we will be rich. Two heroes for the dragon cult, yes? But the cult will be... Oh, oh, I see. Yes, you understand, yes? No one else here would be able to dispute our story. Something has happened to your voice, Morjit. <laughs> In your excitement, you have turned into some sort of mechanical robot. I, I apologize. It is... Uh, 
This fake throat I got. Chain smoke. <laughs> a gnome sold it to me in exchange for some fox. Gnome sized ones. They are very rare. So, walking around where we are on the western side, those two huts. So, is this the Bullywug enclosure at the moment, is it? Or. Yeah, so basically on, on the map, the sort of circular huts are the Bullywugs. Um, the longer, yeah, those ones. So sort the of long houses are the, the lizard folk buildings, which look in a much nicer state than the Bullywugs. Um, right. You can, you can only assume, based on the fact that there's no humans outside, uh, that the cult people are all within the castle. Uh, in fact, to the, the gates to the southeast, or the, the entrance to the southeast, I should say, um, you do see more human-looking figures uh, sort of in the ramparts and and whatnot, sort of going. Okay. So, are there any more any other any more bullywugs in like the nor in the um tents or the enclosures, whatever they are, or just the six in the open? Uh, unless you were to go inside them, you wouldn't be able to tell. But you can see like a few are coming in and out of the huts. Um, you know, there's probably more within them. Well, even if while they're talking, I could go, Drag Drago could go have a listen to, just to see if there are any more. And if there's a whole group of them inside, maybe someone could nuke them or something. <laughs> yeah, so you can sort of move up to, to where the, the huts are, just nonchalantly uh, walking through. Um, the few blue ones that notice you sort of um, seem to bow uh, and shuffle away, uh, probably assuming you're members of this cult. Um, right. And as you sort of walk through, you're, you're given a bit of a wide berth. You do hear uh, various um, sounds, grunts and groans coming from a number of the houses. There's probably several dozen Bullywugs here. Um, okay. At least. Most most are just in their huts. Right, so we're going to have to deal with them <laughs> as well. Unless we can get Snapjaw to go over and get their wizard folk ready. If we could butcher these six to make an example, and someone... I'm beginning to doubt that we need to deal with the Bullywugs in the way that Snapjaw has been suggested. Well, I, I wanted to seriously, seriously doubt it. Yeah, well, I only... Drago, we don't want to kill them because they're unnatural, weird creatures. They're, you know, an affront to barbarians in their own beliefs. Oh, I am walking a statue with a sword hand. These yeah, are you're sentient and members. basically a good creature. <laughs> My friend Golem, these are members of the Dragon Cult. Yes, servants to uh, the oppressive leaders whom you are sworn to oppose. Yes, so uh, maybe we should murder them. Are they members or are they slaves? Much the same thing. No, there's quite a difference. I don't want to kill a species because of collateral damage. Technically, we are killing when we killed the kobolds. They are a species because of collateral damage. Mm. Pops up at this point and he goes, this isn't all of the bollywogs. They're like, they're like sheep. You can't kill them. Ah, you, you heard him. We can't kill him. But but you can definitely kill sheep. Kill I mean, I've, I've killed a lot of sheep. You can kill these ones, but there's always a, a another, always another. Like so what you're saying is you'd like us to raise the entire swamp to the ground, yes? I don't understand. Yes. Don't raise it to the ground. Murder every bullywog. Yes, quite. He gets his club out again. Snapjaw. Did you want to talk about Snaggletooth? No, it's okay. They were... They were... They're gone. You should know that... Snaggletooth didn't meet your standard. You could do so much better. It's not, it's not talk about Snaggletooth. It's, um, it's, and he sort of looks around. 
it's that one there's fault. And he just sort of randomly points at a bollywag. Like, <laughs> uh, and and like takes a step towards. Doesn't run off, but like starts making the way to the the thing. If, if Can I grab him by it, the collar with my shield hand? Absolutely. Uh, roll me a athletics check. I mean. Like, one way or the other, we were going to have to clear this castle out anyway, so... And it would be much easier, easier with the lizard folk helping than hindering. Yeah. In the interest of in um, in knowing uh, sort of what what possible uh, impacts this might have, if you, if you feel like you're going to have to clear the castle, um, if you took down the bollywogs, then there would be less bollywogs and more lizard folk to help. Um, if, if you... Uh, don't um and maybe let snapdoor go on this little rampage um there may be more bullywugs and less lizard folk uh if the lizard folk aren't uh inspired by a act of uh force. demonstration of power yeah yeah exactly so uh the bullywugs would be able to actually flex on them and put down a lot of the lizard folk um and you would have less help in the castle but you know it doesn't necessarily uh mean that you have to do one or the other um as Morjit has pointed out with Asbaro, uh, you do have an inn to the castle if you wanted to go more of a subterfuge route. So, uh, as, a, as a meta observation, um, you're not forced into any one choice here. Well, I guess we still have my I guess mask could... collection. Because <laughs> I guess we could butcher these bullywugs, just, you know, because we freaking, well, some of us freaking hate them, and then we could just go into the castle on the other route and just you know if anyone questions this we can just say well they were disrespectful or they need a disciplining or they stink or whatever <laughs> just murder them more. As I, I, I mean I from what I've gathered I can condone murders of convenience well, they're evil creatures, aren't they? I'm pretty sure bullywugs are unnatural evil creatures. So, uh, Dragolag's no <laughs> Dragolag's talking a lot of sense. Oh, no. Do I have a monster manual on me? <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll do uh, I mean, if we are going by, like, racial uh, elements, bullywugs are evil. Um, in... In the Forgotten Realms, as it were, uh, Bullywugs are generally sort of despised as, as creatures. Um, I, I guess we're not really getting into the conversation of uh, are orcs really bad, are uh, goblins really bad. Um, it's a it's a sitting conceit, right? Bad monsters are bad. Yeah. Right. Well, 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 that's that, a that, that's an eight, for that campaign. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Hmm. Carry on, yes. Lizard oh, I was just saying. Bad. So it's bad. So which, yeah. which bad group do you think of badderest? <laughs> well, I'm just thinking, because uh, okay. don't, don't wugs eat the flesh of sentient creatures? Absolutely. So, <laughs> and and didn't they have the, didn't they have some ability in the light in the encounter we had like we couldn't even heal or something in some aura or something, some unnatural? I can't remember exactly. Oh, they had their, their yeah, but like, that's yeah. the yeah. frogs. Yeah, but frogs don't stink like that. Who doesn't love frogs? Uh, so for one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. If we're dedicated to this plan, I do have something I would like to do first. Oh, what plan is that you're talking about? The flexing on the bullywog? Yes. Potentially, literally, flexing on the bullywogs. If we can scatter them... Rather than murder? I'm all in. Yes. Oh, I thought Golem was literally just going to flex on them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I'm check I... out this muscle. <laughs> I mean, who knows what shape an Intimidate roll will take. <laughs> I really, really want to see how, like, 
you're made of like steel, right? Yep. Uh, I'm very interested in seeing how you um, flex steel. I wanna, I wanna see those fucking triceps, steel triceps bulge. Get some, get some real good flexing going on. You see, like cogs and gears, like jut out of metal plates. <laughs> Okay. So what's the plan? Who can help me be scary? We can chop some chop. bullywogs up and they need to look really scary. <laughs> uh, how do you want to be scary? Um, well, it's not much of a plan, but here's my plan. We get me pulled up in the best dragon cultist look we can manage and I uh, find the boss bullywug and tell them that they're uh, they have overstayed their welcome and are to leave immediately and I do so in a very threatening way because I'm not a good liar but I'm good at being scary okay, okay. the key part of that plan uh, as Snapdraw did point out earlier, is that the boss of the Bullywugs is in the castle and stays with the Humies. Because he's a coward. Because he's a coward. He's too scared to sleep out in the huts with his peoples. Is fear. there any, like, secondary bosses? Uh, by the nature of Bullywug tribes, no. The strongest, most scariest one is the boss at all times. Oh, well, that makes this even easier. Then there's no leadership, and we can just scare them into scattering. Yeah, probably as soon as we leave, they'll just probably come back. What the lizard folk do with... Uh... I can't stop every inter... Species war. What the what the lizard folk do when the bullywugs are broken is their own business. Yep. But I can do what I can to at least reduce the bloodshed. Yeah. All right. I'm and if it doesn't work, then I'm in a right up close. Because we've got a couple of plans that people are wanting to do, or just chuck in a quick vote and uh, decide, just and, uh, decide get the tracks get... moving. I mean, hypothetical. If we did go into the castle with the Sutterfuge plan, that would give us an end to take out the Bullywug leader, or at the very least convince them to lead. This is an entirely in character vote from Golem. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. And th that's fine. <laughs> Man, some of these, like, for some reason, I think the bigger images just don't load. I don't understand why. Because oh, it still no hasn't loaded. Way. No. R.I.P. Yeah. Well, I wonder if maybe you should nuke your cache in case there's some issues can... there. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to. We'll give it give it a shot when we have break. Um, yep. I'll share you on Discord the map so you can at least see what's going on. Thank you. Good thinking. So we've got a lot of not quite votes yet. <laughs> we got height votes. Three options. <laughs> oh, thanks for showing us where all the combats are, Spite. No, no, those are room markers, so I know what those oh. ones are. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, sure. <laughs> As if I'd have that. Uh, uh, My goodness. <laughs> Can I make an insight against Spy? <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't buzz okay, me so... really high enough. <laughs> no, I'm sure I couldn't. <laughs> there are two different plans with three yeses. One of them also is a no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I still didn't get high enough. 181? Don't think so. Just shy. Yeah, no. One DC 182. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So we've got three votes for go to the castle and ignore the Bullywugs for now. Um, three for kill the Bullywugs, but one against that as an option. And only two for scare off the Bullywugs. So it looks like either ignoring them for now or or killing them. Uh, Thanks, Can we kill them and then go into the castle? <laughs> I'm probably going to go with going the, into the castle and ignoring because there is someone that is against yeah, killing them. That would be a fear, very fear tiebreaker. That would be a very interesting moral quandary for golf. Actually, there's five of you. The yeah, I know there's seven votes. Both, choose yeah. one. <laughs> Okay, perfect. All right, so the vote is oh. still, still the Bullywugs. <laughs> yeah. That same, that same person also voted for, or the same people also voted for Scare Off the Bug, Bullywugs. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I feel like I know who that is, Morjeet. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you know what I mean. No, you know what <laughs> Feeling attack. Just like the Bullywugs. <laughs> Huh? Huh? Get it? Wow. Snap, Snapjaw is still wanting to push against it. Uh, at the moment, Golem is just holding Snapjaw by the, the scruff of the neck. Um, it's just sort of, this is what we agreed. I said I would help you. You said you would help me. We need to kill them. Let me go. Uh, by this point, you can see that some of the Bullywugs are sort of looking over in confusion. Um, Drago did a bit of a walk around, didn't really raise any eyebrows, but... Uh, Snapjaw trying to push past with his weapon in hand uh, and you holding him back as he's trying to beeline towards the, the huts uh, is drawing a bit more of attention. Uh, the time is now to to uh, to act, I guess. All right, well, Drago will probably go up to um, Snapjaw and say, we're going to do it, so go get your people. We'll make sure they watch. Yeah, um, Golem's gonna take one shot at just just bellowing at them from where he's standing. Okay, so you, you let go of Snapjaw as he sort of um, listens to Drago and uh, stops trying to rush forwards himself. He sort of nods. All right, all right, prove your strength <laughs> uh, uh, as Golem's death. Give him a high five and send him on his way. Yeah. So <laughs> Golem, as you Golem's gonna their attention. Um, go ahead and, and roll me and intimidate. I'm assuming you're trying to. Just yep. <laughs> bestially roar them out of their huts. Uh, <laughs> Golden fucks up the line a little bit, but it's, he's, he's still deep and booming and large and metal. He forgets his line, so he just starts slamming his sword against his shield <laughs> and making bellowing noise. Uh, and it does I an forgot my line! What was I going to say? Now, thankfully, Bullywugs don't really understand uh, common too well, um, especially when it's being shouted amongst a clanging of a sword and a shield. Um, the few that see you, definitely immediate effect. They sort of scuttle back to the, the huts, um, and a few people are responding, or a few Bullywugs, I should say, are responding to the shouting, uh, and they start to hurry out the north end of the hut uh, sort of area. Um, not all of them. There's a few that come out that just look around confused and uh, look over to you, point and, and mutter amongst themselves. Yeah, bedtime now. All of you, by the way. Okay. Alright, good night. <laughs> <laughs> We're not pulling <laughs> one. Um, and a few of them do head down. They, they sort of pick up uh, what you recognize as, as bones that are uh, smoothened and uh, wrapped with leather, leather, sorry, liver, wrapped with the livers, which make them even heavier to hit you with. Um, wrapped with leather as makeshift handles, uh, and a few of them start to head over towards you in response to your uh, international symbol of wanna fight, brah? Alright, I guess this is make an example out of one of them time. The one is about six. Well, it's okay. It's Make an example out of six. You see, the rest of them do head out to the north. Um, let me just put them on the map and on the combat tracker. Uh, 
Colin looks nervously over his shoulder. I thought only one of them was going to come out. We gotcha. We're all here. I mean, Do not worry, Golem. You are Golem the Unyielding. Golem the Unbreakable. Golem the Iron Giant. <laughs> and really, I mean, six is only like it's close enough to one. You I'm not very good at math. Makes sense to Honestly, it's, it's just... more mostly this that they've got faith in Golem and reminded him of who he is. So, yeah, let's do this thing. Uh, also, uh, six is actually ten. I'm sorry. Bad at math. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> so I'm going to put Golem up front. Uh, the rest of you can sort of choose anywhere behind that line where you'd like to be as you go ahead and roll me initiative please I, st I still can't see shit well maybe you should look harder oh boy I should have discarded the bed there's a, there's a close up map buddy Is anyone else having map issues? Or is it just no. you? Just you. It's, yeah, it's have always... you tried disconnecting and reconnecting? Yeah, it's literally every time we play, so uh, it's oh. got to be something on my end up. I'm going to nuke the cache, and then... Yeah. If you're going to try that now, saying is you're not going to miss anything by not seeing it anyway. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I'll roll initiative for you. Yeah, just put me next to Golem, I guess. Sweet. Or just behind. Okie dokie. Uh, and Snapjaw is going to uh, run off to the side. Um, Morjit, as Barra sort of whispers to you, uh, perhaps I should stay out of this one in case anyone's watching. And he gestures up to the castle. Don't want to sorry my, sully my name before I even meet everyone, yes? Well, you could even go talk to him on our behalf and say how the bullywogs provoked us. Fantastic idea. Uh, and with that, uh, he sort of runs back to the, the main gate portcullis area uh, as Snapjaw heads off to rally the the rest of the lizard folk. Excellent. Uh, and even before you sort of get to the fight, a few of them are already coming out. The, the shout was definitely loud enough to get the, the closest longhouses empty of uh, lizard folk coming to see what all the kerfuffle is. Um, and we start with the... The first two bullywogs. I was too busy showing off and rolled a fucking one on initiative. So we're just pausing for effect, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I I was I was too busy in my well what is it taunt and forgot I can't cancel out of it. <laughs> You gotta remember which abilities have animation cancel. You always dash cancel. <laughs> block dash, block dash. It's got two iframes. Quick, you gotta time it right. Uh, the first two <laughs> ones uh, run up, and uh, they're both gonna charge it. Um, now the ground underneath your feet uh, is pretty, pretty muddy and stink, um, but it's not difficult to rain yet. So, uh, what is the range? Sweet. That one's going to run straight up to you. That one is also going to run straight up to you. And they're both going to charge. Give them a plus one, I believe. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, so one hit, one miss. As they close up. Uh, Take 27 points of damage. Oh, yikes. Their spears, uh, these ones, their spears are more sharpened bones, um, but they are, you know, enough to, to hurt. Um, you dodge one deftly, but the other one manages to strike you. 
Jago, your turn. Move up around there. Yep, I'm going to charge that filler above me. Perfect. And I think I can do it as... Can't do it as a... It's all right, disregard. And just do a howling strike. Good damn. Done. All right, so he's bloodied with a single strike. Now, these are formidable-looking foes, but... I do stress that they are just homekeeper bullywugs. Uh, they're not armed heavily. They're not particularly trained. Uh, like, nor are they hunters or, or killers like you've met in the swamp. Um, and it is very evident as Drago lands the first blow and, and one is nearly felled. Mujik moves up. They're not minions. <laughs> they are not minions. Those ones are, though. Is that Whoa. plus 10 to damage? <laughs> yep. Holy shit, Morshint. God damn. So uh, nope, it's gotta be legit. Dan made my character. Morshint embraces the genocide as he uh, steps forward, throws out uh, three beams of light, which instantly cut down three of no, the Bullywugs. Uh, one of them's probably a child. <laughs> <laughs> God <Wow>. damn it! <laughs> oh, Every <great>. time. <laughs> Holy uh, moly! Uh, Aurelius, your turn. You see the the crowd of bullywugs uh, already seemingly wanting to break as a number of them are cut down. Yeah. Oh wow. That's um. Okay. So I am going to throw out a quick mantle of unity. So that means everyone within five square. Um, all of our defenses are our highest defenses. Sweet. Now that's so, non armor, right? Only the Neds. It's, I believe it's all of them. Uh, the determine the highest AC, the fortitude, fight? reflex, and will among all targets. Is this a daily? It's an encounter power. What? <laughs> Damn. That's amazing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Close burst just, five. Uh, Target so me and each ally. Everyone has golems AC and whoever's the highest whatever's and stuff like that, right? Correct. Yeah. So we all, until the end of my next turn, uh, have, I believe it's to the end of my next turn. Yeah. Uh, so we all have an AC of 27, a fortitude of 26, a reflex of 23, and a will of 28. Damn. That's so good. That's so good. It is. <laughs> so that's my minor action. Um, <laughs> and as we all right. action, we are invincible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, Golem, how are you feeling? Are you good on heels? Uh, yeah, save them for now. I've got tricks in case they land another couple meaty blows. Save your healing okay. until we really. Okay. Uh, hmm. I think we have to be careful too, because don't they have? I think they have an aura where you can't spend healing surges. Oh yeah, Some you're right. Well, it works. All right. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. So if you've got a heal, go on off to step back. Yeah, I'm gonna move here. Um, well, we should probably, like, wait until you are out of melee range of the Bullywood before I throw a healing surge. Because at last encounter, yeah. they weaken you whenever you spent one. Yeah, yeah that's right. You can heal, but you get weakened. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm going to play a staggering note on Bullywood Leaper number one. Okay. This is the uh, bloodied one, yeah? All right. Perfect. I believe so. Uh, so he's going to be moved back a square. Uh, he is going to take that much. Um, and I push the target, uh, yeah, um, as a free action, an ally of my choice, Dragle, can make a melee basic attack against the target before, after, or during this forced movement. Ooh, cool. Probably before. So we yeah. Yeah. 
I don't think he's gonna survive. <laughs> All right, so you you stagger his body back, but he's dead before he even takes nice. the first step. All I can imagine is a relic going swing, madam. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's gonna be my turn. Good. Oh no. Okay, so uh, uh, those are JPEG artifacts, but I'm imagining they're bits of me. <laughs> they're both. Uh, okay, so the muckers are gonna go, and they what do they do? They do a rush. Okay, so they both move up. Six, one, two. I can count it. Wow, that sucks. There we go. And then they're both also going to charge. One is going to charge uh, Dragal, and the other one, screaming about the three that have just been brutally murdered by Morjit, will charge Morjit. Uh oh. Uh, now, place of their following it uh, their melee attack they both do a attack this fort uh, damn. all right the one who hit dragle i am going to use prescient warning on um so and essentially going nah and um dragle is able to make a basic attack against that target as a free action dealing one die eight extra damage is that a interrupt or a reaction it is an interrupt. Okay, so go ahead and make that attack, Greg. Ready? Where is it? Now, the one that missed Morjit, uh, he was in such a fury that as he misses, uh, he chips over, stumbles, and falls prone. Uh, that's the effect when he misses. <laughs> <laughs> Welp! Told you, these aren't soldiers. Oh, miss. Okay, so the one who hits Drago does manage to hit, however... And it's a bugger. Thirty-three damage. Oh lord! God damn. Oh, I didn't actually drag that onto you. Sorry. There you go. Mm. Thirty-three damage, and you're full prone. Oh. -ho. Muckers turns the croakers. Uh, actually, what are they gonna do? They're gonna move up. I'm just gonna move there. And the one that managed to get up is going to attack Golem. Uh, it's going to do a foul croak. Uh, that's not going to be enough. <laughs> nope. Uh, the croak is loud and annoying, but doesn't do much else. Uh, this other one here is going to come down, charge to Morjit. The plus one. It's just going to try and claw at you wildly. Uh, that is not going to be enough to hit your everyone's AC. So that is going to miss. And this one is going to, oh, excuse me, he's going to charge, ah, oh, see, he can't. He can't charge unless he charges Morjit. So he's going to have to charge Morjit. Oh no, Morjit. Uh, cool, also and I hit him. And you hit him oh, no, yeah. Oh, no, I have to be hit, and you're right, it's not enough. Yeah, they're both, no, they're going to hit you. Um, that is their turns. So Flint, you're up. Have you got a map yet? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. I nuked the cache and it's still not working. So I nuked it again. I'm coming back. Okay. I'll give you an updated picture of how it's all looking. It's all just a big slug vest at the moment. There you go.
Ah, uh, this is really fucking annoying. Um, I will uh, ba 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 charge the. Or I guess actually I'll move back <laughs> a step, and then charge the one that's to Golem's left. Okay, look, really? look. Yeah. Uh, which leaper this is might that? Be the first time we've ever just met in a line. Yeah, uh, this is a leaper too. Usually, there's a lot more control on the field, but yeah, as I say, you guys are just murdering villages, basically. <laughs> I try to. Avoid it. <laughs> don't, you, you don't get to guilt trip me about this. Oh, I do. <laughs> All right, the leaper is bloodied with that strike. Uh, it drops a. Uh, one of its weapons that it's holding. Uh, you do note it as a human skull. It was uh, just had its hand in like a, a knuckle weapon. So I've been looking around a little bit. Uh, this shit might be a little bit more complicated than I thought as far as the images go. I think I'm going to have to do some finagling with it, which I'm just not going to bother doing right now. It's going to take a while. Now hold off anyway, because we're probably going to switch to FGU next time. Oh. Um, so, uh, Golem, your turn is G finally up. <laughs> FGU? I'd explain it there, I guess. Yeah. The next version of Fantasy Gun. But it is your turn. Looking at my powers. Ooh, I actually have a cool power. That I don't think I've ever used. Now's the Strength from Valor. Now, when you uh, do you roll, how does it work? Do you roll one attack roll against each enemy, but only one damage roll? Correct. Uh, so you can target all of them and then just hit the attack roll, and it'll roll all of their ones. And then when you roll damage, it'll just apply to all the ones you hit. You will have to. Uh, manually set your team hit points though. Uh, uh, did you drag that onto him? Yes. Yeah, you need to just double click it when you're doing multi target. Oh, I just double click it? Yeah. Whoops. That's okay, we'll take the first three. So you hit Leaper 2. And you missed Crocus 6, and you hit Mucka 2. So, uh, three... Two hits out of three. So who did I miss, sorry? You missed Crocus 6. So you missed the minion. Of course I did. <laughs> nice. And... Uh, again, uh, and... Yep. Cool. Check those in. Any other actions? Um, I'm mostly cool right now, but I have so many miners. I should probably just use one for the sake of. Uh, oh. Um. I will use my divine challenge on Mucker too. Okay. So he is marked. Have you got that effect set up to put on him? Uh, I thought I did, but it went away, I guess. Oh, it's here. It's there. For some reason, it went away when I hit enter. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, the Leaper here is going to use his spasmodic leap in response to uh, Flint mortally wounding him uh, which is going to have him leap three spaces um, does not provoke opportunity attacks and he's going to land right here oh actually no he's going to land right here because uh, this is in response to Flint uh, so he's going to have combat advantage hitting Flint And uh, now the 
things is until the end of your next turn, isn't it, Aurelius? So they've still got high defenses? Aurelius, they've still got high defenses? Correct. Okay. So, hopefully this hits. 35. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> so because he has combat advantage, he deals uh, considerably more damage. I can have my I can spend my hero point and make enemies reroll, right? Your hero point, yes. Your healing surge is no. I'm gonna do that. Okay, you'd like to spend your hero point? He's going to reroll. Yes. Remember my combat advantage and Ooh, it's gonna make a mess. Ooh. Nice. nice. Thank you. So this is going to be half damage. Then, because he missed, but it is still <laughs> half of the higher damage. I apologize. You take fourteen damage from the attack. That's uh, fine. But you have no further penalty. You would have had an attack penalty afterwards, but you do not have that. Uh, All of my healing this battle has been preventative. And Drago, your turn. All right, I'm going to. Where is it gone? This one, Wheeling Frenzy, so I should be able to target the three guys in front of me. Theory, one, two, and three. And now I can I can can target reflex. Observing these creatures, is, is their armor class better or, or are they more reflex, better reflex? So I can target either. They seem pretty agile. Okay. I'll go armor class then. Pretty crap rolls. That's right. Good enough. Yep, no good. Uh, yep. All right. So that's that's probably it, I think. Um, I've got thirty-three damage. That's right. I'll just stay there. Done. And another two. Bullywugs are ruthlessly cut down in the, oh, the name of proving a point. Doing that, right? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Wiggle stood up from Pwn to do that. Yeah, yeah, we've done that first, yeah. That's a good point. Okay. Mojit, here. Um, okay, I will... Hmm. Probably don't want to nail my friend. You don't? No, no. So I'll shift back. Okay. And cast shatter. Oh, you got a crit. Oh, hang on. So you crit one. Let me just check because there's an effect. Uh... As your your blow strikes the leaper, um, there is a release of energy from him uh, that is completely pointless to you, but would regain eight of your hit points. Uh, the nature's release. It should be regaining uh, eight of uh, someone else who's close, right? Nah. <laughs> with, with try. I know. Someone else just needs to land some crit. Good lord. Damn. Alright, so you finished the last croaker, and you managed to polish off the leaper. Leaving but two bullywugs, who at this point are pretty close to giving up. Uh, Aurelius, you see that they're both sort of... Uh, one of them's, A, knocked to the ground, and uh, doesn't look to be wanting to continue this fight at all. The other one looks like he's wanting to try and help that one that's on the ground. Uh, stopped really looking at uh, the rest of you and looks like he wants to, to drag his friend away. What does everyone think? I think we've proved our point. Yeah. Ha ha, sword ban. Ho oh, oh, ho, I get it. Get it, because a sword has a point. 
Cool ah. tools for, for coming up with that. <laughs> very good. Very clever. Very clever. Well, well good. <laughs> do, you, do you want to push your uh, your advantage here, Relius? The one that's standing is bloody. The one that's on the ground is, is knocked over. Uh, they both want to make a, a break for it. Do you allow them to? I'm going to ask everyone what everyone thinks Snapjaw would think. If, if we let them live, would Snapjaw want to assist? Uh, you can look over to where the lizard folk is sort of watching this this big display, and you see Snapjaw with a big lizard grin on his face, um, and you sort of look at him expectantly. Uh, I'm resisting the temptation to make him do the the Roman gladiator thumb up thumb down myth thing, but that's um, what I was waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> he is like gesturing with his fist, like stab, stab, stab. But you know he's like, all right. Hey, well then. <laughs> If you want lizard men allies, uh, I'm going to, as a minor action, uh, use my face. You might be thinking, hey, wait a minute, isn't that a move action? No, my uh, Ilian. What's my, what's my theme called again? Uh, yeah, Ilian Bruin Guardian at level 10, it turns it into a minor action. Also, I'm taking more G. Sweet. That works. Boom. All right, so I am going to do another uh, staggering note on Bullywood, Bullywood Mucker number one. Okay. He's going to be pushed two squares, ideally over where, um, over next. And Drago's going to be able to make a melee attack against him. Although, damn. Uh, can I just make it one square so that it doesn't get combat advantage? Is your power up to? It's... I believe it's up to, too. Um, the boarding is... Uh, you push the target two squares, but Probably I think that's because... South, huh? west, and then just south, and then they wouldn't technically be flanking. Yeah, you could just do that. And normally with force movement, you don't have to move them maximum. You can move, okay. and move any portion of it normally. My spot does it differently. Okay. Yeah, um, I think that the new position is perfect, and Drago gets a melee basic attack against it. Jeez, hopefully I'll hit this time. Or maybe not. Oop. Yes, a four yeah. is enough. Yeah. yeah. Combat advantage helped. Good stuff. And that's going to be my turn. Yeah. Also, yeah, you're, you're right. Um, when a distance is specified, regardless of how it's worded, you can move it all of that distance, part of that distance, or none at all. So... You can choose how much you'd like them to move. Um, the one that you did just slide is going to stand up with his movement uh, and shift and downgrade. Uh, so it's downgrading its standard to do that shift away. Uh, and it's trying to pull itself away. Uh, it is bloodied and it is hurt. Um, this one is going to shift away and then it is going to run. It is going to run that far. And it is now running. Run over. Run Hmm. Hmm. Are we wanting to let that one up there get, get away, or...? He's running away He's... from the castle. Um, he is get running away. to where all of his friends have also run off to. Um, it doesn't look like he's going to be much of a further threat. But, you know, you're all psychopaths. Just like Snapjaw, so... I'm not a psychopath. 
You are if you kill him. That's emotional blackmail. <laughs> I'll charge that guy. Fuck it, why not? In for a penny, in for a pen, as they say. So you're giving chase to the guy? Charging no, the not guy. that one. Oh, not that one? Nah. The other one. Wait. Can you even see which one? Or are you just saying, not that one? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can see, like, the tokens. Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, that's super weird. Okie dokie. Cherry okie. Ooh, he very nearly did. You're a bully. Bullying the bullywug. Oh, and he's grabbed? Okay. Is that your turn? Yes. Alrighty. Golem sighs heavily and goes into at least a mercy kill before Snapjaw tries to convince us to torture him for information or something. Keep me up to the one that's still here. Paladin slaughtering a fleeing enemy. This Who would have thought? This one's closest, so the other one you can say is the fleeing enemy. This is the one that's still here. <laughs> <laughs> you pretty much just have to hit. Yeah. Oh, oh, why? Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, you know point. Take my role. That's not worth a hero point, I'm sorry. Right. Not worth a hero point, but I still want you to do it. Um I guess on the hands Drago. Alright. Is the only other one that's got any wounds? Thank you very much. And I get resistance because of virtuous recovery. This is apparently virtuous. Sweet. Brilliant. Yeah, Alright, I'm going to charge you after Was that a healing surge that you just spent there? Uh, yes. Okay. And Drago is going to give chase by the looks. Yep, go after him. Um, yep, I spend a healing surge, but regain no hit points. Yeah, sweet. Major, oh, I didn't mark him, I think. Oh, you did it, thank you. Uh, try that again. Cool crap damage. Good thing I get the reroll. <laughs> okay, they're both within one hit point. I'm going to say you can win. <laughs> <laughs> Single hit point. <laughs> Jesus. You, you hack them both down as they're trying to flee. Um, That's gonna... Do you want me to burn an action point? I'll get burn an action point if you want. <laughs> no, it's funny. Uh, there is a. You want to burn their houses of, down? Of uh, excitement coming from where the lizard folk on the other side of this sort of pondy section um, are watching, and they they uh, roar in pleasure, and you see Snapjaw dancing and. Uh, Turning around to his friends and see, 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 I, I told you. Uh, and you see the lizard folk sort of excitedly nodding amongst themselves. A few of them head back to their their long houses and uh, come out again with uh, makeshift weapons and uh, helmets and things that don't really fit. Look like they've been stolen off uh, various humans that they've had a chance to to kill and rob. Um, but yeah, you've got a small fighting force of lizards here that are the lizard folks that are here to to help you out. Morales, can you give me a boost on the surge I'm about to use for a short rest? Oh yeah, the um, song of rest. Yep. Oh, 
It is Sweet. eight Sweet. per healing surge you spend. Cool. I need to start remembering all the complications that come from having a sword as an arm now. Yeah, you gotta be careful with your hugs. So that encounter counts as a uh, milestone, right? Uh, oh yeah, we do get an extra action point. Yeah, Because yeah, last you, encounter was... Yeah, you finished the tree and didn't have yeah. a milestone, so yep. This will be your milestone short rest. Alright. Okay. Uh, with that, as you uh, sort of regroup with Dragil, who's just come back, wiping the blood from his blade of the, the one fleeing Bullywug, um, you catch up with Snapjaw, uh, and... You're able to see as Bara has made his way into the castle already, um, headed inside the gates and, and out of sight. Um, and you've got roughly 20 lizard folk who are here uh, waiting patiently for your decision on, on what it is you're going to do and, and when you're going to do it next. Um, we are going to take a 10 minute, 15 minute break um, in, a, in a few minutes, um, once you've told me what it is you plan to do, so I can <laughs> quickly get it ready. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> so what's the plan? Uh, Are you going to go in there full force and attack the castle, or what? The snake can be good. Do you reckon we can go the snake path now? That's what the other guys want to do. Cool. how well Asbara did bluffing. If Asbara doesn't come back, or it looks like Asbara might be in trouble, we should probably charge in. Well, Aurelius is pretty good at talking. Maybe he could bridge any gaps in Asbara's discussion, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, I do have good roles, but I'm terrible when it comes to actual work. Aren't we all? That's why I have the good dice rolls. <laughs> Sorry, I did miss all of that discussion. Uh, what is the plan now? Yeah. Had kids to beat and to beat. No. I'm skewing non-violent myself, but odds are we're going to be storming the castle. Okay. I think the plan is follow behind Aurelius, but be ready for shit to go to. If I understood correctly. Yeah, might as well try the sneaky way in, using what we were talking about before, and yeah, well, Gollum said, if it goes to the dogs, well, we can always heft our weapons and see how we go. With our new army. Sure. <laughs> Sounds like unanimous support. <laughs> well, that's a pretty unanimous sure. Well, I've actually tied with the voting before. Might as well go through with it, I suppose. Actually, we just want to charge in.
on ahead of Yellup, but those two switch spots. Uno into third place. As soon as I say that, I was about ready to say fourth. He already...
unmute, unmute, unmute. There we go. <laughs> so we don't carry on with a muted channel. That's good stuff. Let's do a quick check, see if everyone's back. Gollum is having a moment here of realizing the kinds of things he's willing to do to protect these four, <laughs> these four idiots. <laughs> Flint is apparently still grabbed. Oh yeah. I think he is. I don't know why he's grabbed. I feel like he should have been grabbing someone else. That marble race was crazy. <laughs> it's intense, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, let me just put. Snapjaw back there. Snapjaw is back and yarning with you all and uh, asking, you ready? You ready to go into this castle? Ready to go and deal with the cultists once and for all? Well, that, that, that's the hope. I don't think this is going to be once and for all, but we'll be hamstringing them fairly severely. I mean, we still have 20 I mean, levels to go. We so. are almost in a new tier. This is starting to feel like a, the end of a story arc boss fight. No. <laughs> uh, we'll point out again that Asbara has gone inside, is, is no longer visible. Um, and you can hear uh, a commotion coming from the castle. Um, separate to that commotion, or at least it seems separate to that commotion, because it's far further into the castle than you'd expect as Barra to have already gotten. Uh, the third floor windows on the northwestern uh, tower um, suddenly light up uh, and there is a uh, definite magical thump that comes in, in light like a whoop uh, with the, the flash of light um, as if there was some sort of magical explosion inside. Uh, a few moments later there is another Thwoop, and another bright flash of light um, followed by two more in quick succession and then silence and no more flashes of lights from that tower who knows probably not I, <laughs> we that sounds bad her. Uh, Snapjaw sees it and sees you all looking at it and he just sort of waves a hand do not worry, it's just the scaly ones arriving or leaving. One of the two. We should move quickly. Well, yeah, Golem's already going. Fuck it. We're blown. Golem's already going. You know, Spy, I really wanted to like Asbar this time. I'm really, really sad. I, I like him. He got told to go inside. He's gone inside. What more do you want? <laughs> As Bar to be a friend. Yeah, fair enough. He's my friend. <laughs> yeah, well, you're the fucking cult spy. You don't count. Exactly. Exactly. I'm spying on the cult. Yeah. Friends. Yes. You know you're loved, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this to me, man. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Who's your snaggletooth, Flint? Flint, it's not your fault. Don't do this to me, man. Uh, I fucking too heavy snaggletooth. Roll with the husband thing without so much as possible.
No. It's... It ain't no thing. My headphones just died. Love is love. Yes, they did. One second. Uh oh. Testing. All right, that's gonna have to do. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. By scaly ones. Does that mean dragon? Dragons. A big yes. Ah uh, yes. Long tails, wings, breeds all sorts of fire or ice or acids. Uh, typically, yes. Sometimes they provide us... Oh, sorry. No, no, you go ahead. Sometimes they provide us with a buffet of wings. <laughs> he nods. nods. And I'm yes. hungry. Yes, yes. No, not a dragon. Mmm, buffet. Scaly ones look like dragons, but... Also like us. And he points to the lizard folk. Oh, they're dragonkin. Lizards are dragonkin. These are scaly ones. He uh, erroneously states that lizards are related to dragons. <laughs> yes, I, I understand. <laughs> Sorry, we'll let uh, Snapjaw you know, keep his, his dreams. Yeah, well, let's stop. Dragon our feet. Oh, go. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, all right, let's follow uh, Gollum and let's go, eh? Yeah. Uh, so Gollum starts heading in. Uh, as you're walking over there, Snapjaw does mention uh, no, no, the only dragons around here are, are off to the east. They don't spend much time in the castle. Uh, as we get closer, does it look like there is a uh, panic kind of situation going on here? Or. Uh, yes and no. Um, there's a few people that are standing here trying to give the, the pretense of normalcy, but you can see that they are on edge as you approach. Um, they have their weapons drawn. It's two uh, human cultists. They have their weapons drawn, and as you approach, they call out, Hark, who goeth there? We're not in costume, are we? You are not. Uh, Mojit is, but that's because it's not a costume. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why does... <laughs> Fucking true. Oh, That's what it damn. is. All right, uh, golem charges. Oh, just just straight up, straight up the bat. Yep. Oh, we're going Either loud. Either Asbara is in trouble, or he is the trouble, and either way, we don't have time. Okay. Well, uh, at the doorway, you see two of these cultist lackeys just here. Um, you charge in, and the first one is immediately skewered on the end of your weapon. Uh, the second one. Shouts out, Halam! Before you swing your weapon and deal with him. They are both minions. Uh, they're certainly not the protectors of the the castle that you would expect. Um, however, inside, you can see that the uh, the walkway ahead, this area, um, has a portcullis that is quickly dropped into place. Um, you see people up on the landing above. You can sort of see... I just need to share the second story so you can tell. One second... Oh no, if only there were two or three of us here who used strength as our primary step. Oh man. <laughs> Whatever shall you do. Uh, I, I forgot to tell you, I actually switched to uh, a bow ranger, so my primary set's agility now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, so that's the second story map. Uh, I apologize. There is many, many maps. <laughs> many maps. Handle it. Pretty much. <laughs> what is that like? The third oh, your maps. In a row we've referenced. <laughs> it's a it's a timeless classic. You know what? Many references. Handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Too easy. <laughs> Um, so... Sure do... Oh, shit me. Sure do love this papyrus colored map. Yeah, uh, it's just so, it's still showing loading for me, too. 
Oh Jesus. So you move in there. You, uh, bearing in mind you have a force of lizard folk at your back as you, you run in there. The portcullis is closed. Uh, on the second floor you can see that there is uh, two more cultists that have quickly dropped it into place uh, and are now sort of poised at the top of the stairs. Um, they're just sort of shouting down, Don't come any further! We're, we're, we're armed and we're, we'll deal to you! Um, you can see further down this pathway, so the portcullis that is locked uh, goes into an open walkway, um, which heads off to the east. Um, you can see down there a number of cultists are sort of running down uh, with bullywugs uh, on either side of them, trying to keep up uh, as they are quickly leaving this area. So is the portcullis... It's in the, the hallway uh, to our right. Yeah, so it's, so it's like chucked that. down and out. Yep, perfect. Right there. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything that can open it from the other side, does there? Um, right. Upstairs, yes. Uh, you would be able to turn the levers um, to, to, to pick it up. Um, um, okay. It's poorly designed, it's poorly but, designed. you know... But, <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, I'll design. Maybe we can just like wrench it upwards and it'll break. I'll uh, I'll I'll throw a friendly greeting to the cultists and go. Excuse me, sirs. Um, can you please pull that lever over there? Would no, oh, we've we've been ordered to drop it and and defend it. I will have I your will commanders. Have commanders. But you I will have your heads for this. Very... Very appreciative of you, of you, if you. Uh, with I'm sorry, Morshi. I totally talked over you. All good, mate. That's fine. Uh, with Morjit sort of imposing and threatening behind, and and you like, <laughs> <laughs> and Gollum just trying to lift it but failing miserably. Um, <laughs> Roll me a very difficult, so a DC 25 uh, diplomacy, please. Diplomacy? Or, or, or intimidate. Um, either or. Whatever. <laughs> you say DC 25, or really could have gotten that on. A... Yeah, but that's a lot of points. <laughs> nice. Uh, they... You, you can sort of hear them like discussing it with each other. Should we? I mean, did they? What if they are members? They they were here with this bar. Just we saw them. We look saw at them what the they're reposer. wearing. Look! Look what he's wearing. Uh, and he he <laughs> shouts out, um, "Make make the make the sign!" And he, he sort of head peek down over the the edge of the stairs. I'll do the dragon core thing. To tell him to take your strong hand. <laughs> I already made the sign. I'm sorry you didn't see me do it. <laughs> but please don't really. question me. <laughs> so with you, with you masterfully bullshitting and Morjit uh, actually doing it. Um, see, I, I told you. Look, look, the the cultists. We gotta open it up. Look, Born Grey's. He'll kill us if if we hold out someone important. I mean gotta open it up uh and a few moments later you hear the clanking of them turning the the lever and the uh portcullis great lifts um golem's probably still busy trying to lift it and uh finally feels like he's getting some purchase aha i just needed to grab it from and then as you shift your your hands you notice that it's lifting without you pulling on it <laughs> oh me and my sword hand <laughs> I did not think this through. I you were talking about one hand, so I was impressive. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my life is now the a, a living metaphor of the dichotomy between peace and war. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, as the portcullis opens and you'll quickly move on through the um the lizard folk with you. Uh, you hear shouting from the other end, You idiots! We said to not let them... And then uh, you hear the 
the twang of bows and crossbows being fired as the hallway ahead of you fills with uh, sort of detritus being fired down, stopping you from from com- well, not really stopping, dissuading you from coming further down. Um, they are on the second floor, so there's none here that you can easily fire at, um, or or get to. I should say, is a, a sheer rock, uh, castle rock wall up either side. Um, but yeah, you can make a quick run down the corridor yep. before you get to the end. Yep, charge down then. Absolutely. Uh, and as you make your way down, the lizard folk are coming along with you. And someone roll me a D6, please. Uh oh. A D6? Yeah, one D6. Ooh, take the take the five. We take, take the, five d six damage. Take the five, you reckon? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm. My guess is that it's a casualty count. It is a casualty count of your lizard. Take the one. Take the one. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take the first roll. Uh, so five of the lizard folk are killed in the the mad dash down the corridor. Um, as you arrive at the courtyard. Uh, which the ground here you can tell was once hard packed earth um, but the area that you arrived through uh, this sort of open causeway um, which once had a portcullis that has long since rusted and, and degraded away um, this this whole area has been churned into mud uh, presumably by the comings and goings of uh, many many flapping bullywog feet um, in the courtyard itself you can see that there is a, a huge amount of activity um, there is uh, seven lizard folk. Uh, there is about ten bullywugs all around, and there is uh, a handful of giant lizards and giant frogs, um, sort of all here bustling for the opportunity to stop the interlopers. Um, Snapjaw runs forwards at the head of his team of lizard folk and lets out a stream of uh, speech that none of you understand. Um, and you see someone roll me a d10. Dan will rush at once. One, two, three, nine. <laughs> well, <laughs> on the last one, we're like, mm. <laughs> okay. Would anyone like to hero point that? Oh, I, th- I thought a one number was good. <laughs> I'll hero point it if I've got one. Just a reroll, or yeah, just a reroll. Yep. Okay, four of the seven lizard folk that are there, uh, and their giant lizards that they are riding and standing next to, um, seem to answer Snapjaw, pull out their weapons, and turn on the bullywugs. Three of them uh, pull out their weapons and angrily shout something at Snapjaw, and appear to remain loyal to the cultists. So, All right. There is going to be All a right. battle. I'm assuming. <laughs> yep. Yeah, cut the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cut them down, I suppose. Okay, just need to put these buggers on the map. It's taking a minute, I'm sorry. That's what happens when you don't prepare. How dare you take time? It's the freaking worst, right? I demand immediate satisfaction. Okay, go ahead and roll initiative.
Of course. Charge straight into the fray. Yeah, so once again, can't see shit, Captain, but uh, I'll just. Can I be in front of Morgie instead of behind Morgie? Don't worry, Golem, I'll protect you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, there is more Bollywugs uh, around, but for the sake of not having 100 NPCs to deal with, um, Snapdraw's lot is fighting them. <laughs> I figured Sounds that's good. about what was happening, why you didn't have a bunch of minions on the board, is because we were just a theater of mind, our minions fighting. Yeah, very much so. Uh, so, first up is Flint. Now you have a fairly clear idea of which of the lizard folk have turned to your side. I, okay. Uh, I cannot see any tokens or anything, so I'm just gonna pretend I'm there, uh, okay. with, with my with my brain, and charge whichever one's closest to me. There's a um, bullywog that's really close to you, and also a lizard folk dreadnought that's very close. Well, then no, the, it's in charge range, close. Then the dreadnought. Okay, you charge him. This is Dreadnought yes. number five. <laughs> All right. Do, do, do. Ladies and gentlemen, Dreadnought number five. <laughs> uh. A little bit of snake tooth on the side. <laughs> <laughs> You said five, right? Yes. Okay, good. A little bit of snap jaw in the sun. A little bit of star scream all night long. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, hold on. First, I'm gonna hundred score. Hit on a six. <laughs> yeah. I don't see Whoops. it being applied. No. Nice. Ooh, almost bloodied nice. Very nice. Okay, and the first bullywugs to respond or react to your entering the area. Uh, move up. That's a lot of croakers. It is. Ah, cool. ah, ah. Yeah, Morjit, we're going to leave those to you, I think. I have a plan. Oh no, Flint. Okay, so... One of them's gonna attack. Only one of them's gonna have combat advantage because he's the last to move. That'll be the last one. So that one hits. You take 11 damage. And the last one will do a foul croak. Hitting. Oof. And he deals 12 poison damage. And that is the croaker's turn. Diggle, yeah? All right. Charge up to there. We'll move up to there, I should say. And I'm going to use Rage Strike. I think. No, Rage Strike's Frenzy, that'll do. That on there. That's pretty lame. Oof. Pretty lame. Do you still have your hero point? No, I used it for um, the reroll for Snapchat. 
Oh, thank you very you. much. Try again. Rain strikes freely. Practice makes perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, I want to eat. <laughs> Right, that's that. And I think put that on myself. I think it's pretty much me done. I think starters. Yeah, that'll do for starters. All right, Moji. <laughs> Dragle didn't get moved on my map. I yeah, so mine either. The... Um... Uh, I think the the spite juniors are requiring wrangling. I haven't heard Spike talk for a little while. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Had to tuck oh. someone in. Um, yep, sorry, moved yet. If if I don't respond, just consider that you finished your movement and continue. Okay. Um, where did we him? hear the... Which, do we know which tower we heard the big boom from or where Asbara went to which tower? You can't see Asbara here. Um... But you know it was from the northwestern tower on this map. So we can assume that's where all the important people are, right? Uh, based on what probably. Snapdraw said to you, that it was the scaly ones coming or going, that's probably where they are or were. Yeah, I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Morjit. Let's go that way, right? Right? That's, that's, that's yeah. what you're implying? That's yeah. what we should do? Oh, I feel so smart. So I'm going to strike board confidently. Yes. This is also a day where I've been doing a lot of bad things. Are those really? Do any of these bullywogs look like they'd take a swing at me? Uh, the one that's next to you probably would. You cut out there. I'm not sure if you just. No, that, that, that's perfect. Um, are there any dragon cultists around? Uh, you can see from there. There's a few in the doorways, just watching what's going on. Uh, they appear to be letting their uh their little minions, their uh, lizard folk and bullywugs, do the dirty work, which is precisely the reason they're there. Cool. I'll take on to my standard to move. Okay. After you smack me, I yeah. You're roboting super hard. Yeah, super hard. Yeah, I'm telling what's up with my connection tonight. Oh dear. Um, I'll. I assume he'll smack me as I move there. Yes, he will. So I'll just do that. Oh, sorry, that was the wrong thing. Uh, so he rolled a four. Let me just see if this one would actually. Would a nineteen hit your AC? Yes, your AC fifteen. Y yes, it would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is your AC that low? I don't wear armor. I don't think I've ever bought armor. I need to probably do shopping at some point. Armor? I barely get... know her. Yeah, you should probably get some cloth armor, and then you'll get some at least inherent bonuses. Yeah, I've got, you know, five from my dicks. <laughs> yes, please. Let's get let's get you a shirt that would still give you the inherent <laughs> bonuses. Just put a and hide this shot. masculine chest which is covered in fur and you can't see my rippling abdominal muscle. Get you a fishnet shirt. An open <laughs> Hawaiian perfect. shirt. An open aloha shirt. Oh, perfect. <laughs> you dare hit a member of the dragon cult? I mean... And I'll yell this really loud so the other cultists hear it. Ah... And I'll... 
Why have you got a wisdom minus four on you? Oh, why do I have wisdom minus four? Mm -hmm. So what are you doing now that you are in amongst all the four things? So I've I've screamed out at yep. how dare they, and now I'm gonna. Okay, so you're what's the goal? You're trying to get the attention of the cultists, like how dare you do this to me? Pr pretty much. Okay. And, um, yeah. Hmm. I mean, technically, it's sort of a bluff, but it's also sort of not. I'm gonna say bluff, bluff, bluff with a plus five, please. Nice. Yeah, roll that bluff. Oh, pretty good. That's twenty-three total. God damn. Okay, and what is your your goal? So obviously you're shouting out to the cultists rather than the the bullywugs. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to get the cultists involved to start beating up the bullywugs. Okay. Like uh, I want them to think that the bullywugs have just lost it and they're attacking everybody. Okay. Let's just add some more enemies into this. It's fucking who cares? <laughs> Friendly. You see a number of cultists from the door nearest you, the ones that you could see, uh, coming out. Hey, what the? That's 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 one of ours. Uh, and they go. They're gonna actually have their initiative after you rather than before. So they're all going to go to the bottom of the pack. Nicely done. Okay. Uh, and that is your turn, I'm guessing. That is. Okay. Nice. These bullywugs um, are going to run past this lizard folk, uh, which is going to suddenly let them know that they're actually not on their team anymore. <laughs> Uh, who strikes out as he runs past. Uh, the Bullywug suddenly stops uh, and turns and begins to engage that guy. I'm just going to rush through these ones. They're going to start getting there. They're going to get confused, however, and they're going to attack all the, the lizard dreadnoughts, including the ones that are still allied to them. It's a confusing time. Okay. Nice. Uh, Golem, your turn. I have a very simple turn. I'm going to move up here to defend my friends, Morjit and Dragal. Okay. And also Flint, because actually Flint's the one who's in pain, but I'm going to do more than just protect. Anyway. Um, now, this guy's a jerk. So I'm going to hit him with my Resurgent Smite. Um, and, uh, yeah. Hey, uh, spend the healing surge, but recover 21 hit points instead of whatever your normal. Who's that? To? Uh, Flint recovers 21 hit points and spends a surge. Oh, thank you. He'll be weak and whiny as well. He will be. But healthy. Sorry. <laughs> How much was that, sorry? sorry? 21. I forgot that happened. Um, sure. Appreciate it, thank you. Yeah, That's alright. Like, defense, oh, defense is good. That's alright. Um, I guess I'm going to use uh, an action point. Is the weekend a save thing, or is it just? Uh, 
Ah, Do you it's save the evening thing. Okay. Whoops, that was the wrong uh, skill I checked. Um... I guess I'm gonna... Shit, I was so sure I knew what I wanted to do and then I remembered that giving searches also weakens. <laughs> Is it specifically healing, or is it just whenever you spend a healing search? Spend a search? healing search. Oof. Um, okay. Challenging strike on Mucker 3. Yeah. Get that asshole! <laughs> He's now marked. Excellent. And I will uh, use Virtue on myself again to spend a Healing Surge and gain uh, temporary hit points equal to my Surge value. Nice. Alrighty, let's go, Lucien. And I am also weakened, and then that's the end of my turn. Sweet. I'm gonna move four squares to there. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yes. Uh, to right. Then I'm going to use my mantle of unity so everyone gets the Manda defenses. At least everyone within five squares of me. After that, hmm. What do I want to use? What do I want to use? You know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm going to use a staggering note on Bullywug Mucker number three. Because I play my uh, bow like a harp. Okay. Right. So it is pushed back a square and Dreadle gets a free attack against it. Oh, cool. Nice. <laughs> I dropped my dice on it and he ducked back out of range. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Just that was funny. Poor timing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed bloody hell. No. He did he did dodge it for real. Shit, shit. Oh well. And I think that will be my turn. Okay. Alrighty, the lizard folk are gonna go hog wild. Gonna move to here. Gonna great club the leaper. Fuck that leaper in particular. <laughs> this one's gonna turn and he's going to do a low blow on him. Oh, he crit. Well done. I'm starting to feel like instead of killing everything, we should cut through enough to keep moving. I say we kill all the bully lugs and make the remaining lizard folks or That sounds good. He moves back to and he shifts there. Ooh, that's a brutal crit. Oh yeah. Yeah. And with combat advantage, he's gonna hit that mucker. Rip that guy. Yep. Oh boy, that damage roll. God damn. Yes. Now these ones are just gonna go hard on you. Now, what's your fort at the moment? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's just the wrong way. 42 is 26. Sweet. Uh, 
Sorry, I'm not narrating this. I'm just quickly trying to get through them. <laughs> uh, Food Not 3 is it's, dead. It's a massacre. So many it people is. are attacking and getting attacked. It's impossible to tell what's going on. Quite right. That's what People are getting attacked. People are dying left and right. Aurelius grabs a shield, slides down on some stairs like a skateboard, <laughs> fires arrows into some bullets. <laughs> Uh, oh, this one rushes yeah. up, manages to hit more. No, oh, that'll miss Morjit, won't it, actually? That will miss Morjit by one. Oh, so let me just take that 30 off you. You're back at 11. Sorry, Morjit. And you're not prone. So he will miss. I am still weakened, though, because yeah. I used the power. Spike. Yeah, uh, you should still be weakened. I ah, did you spend a healing surge? I thought he spent a healing surge. I also spent one myself to give myself a bunch of THP. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. Oh, let's give that to you. Um, this one. A hit deals that. Knock and burn. Big guy's getting knocked over left, right, and center. Just lizard bodies falling everywhere. <laughs> Big frogs knocking him over. Uh, I didn't put the giant frogs on the map. They need to come back on. <laughs> <laughs> Three oh, no, frogs appear. Rabbit. Just leap around, attacking everything. Leap, leap, leap. And this one is going to try to grab Flint with a tongue. Fails. The other two are just going to lick the others. Uh, it's all very, uh, very special. Uh, uh, <laughs> sounds personal. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, and now the cultists are going to get involved. Uh, they come down, and they are going to stab only the ones that are hitting Morjit. They also suck. Uh, why? Oh, I know why. I know why. I put in them at the wrong level. Sorry, one second. Didn't give them weapons. I'll fix that up in a second. Uh... Those are the ones from back when Golem called himself the un unyielding all the time. That's the one. <laughs> and now Golem yields even less. He does, but he also doesn't brag about it so much. Like, he realized it was kind of gauche talking about it all the time. It's so like, you... like talking about how humble you are. And he upgraded to... Uh... is humble. Yeah, exactly. The the humble unyielder. Yeah, learning humility. Oh, yeah, that's more around what I would expect. There we go. Three hits this time. Damn. And that is the end of the round. Now, I am going to have to end the session there, because I have a child who's sick at the moment, uh, and I need to go and deal with him. Um, but we're only 25 minutes from the end time anyway. So I'll have to end it there and we'll have to pick this up because this fight is going to go on for a wee while, I believe. Especially <laughs> we're going to push on through to the castle and leave it to resolve itself. Um, but yeah, that is it. Thanks thanks for the game. Appreciate the game. And yeah, thanks, Spike. Cool. Good time. Thanks for running. Yeah, thanks, Spike. Thanks. This is fun as ever. Yes. Yeah. Like, that sounded way more sarcastic than I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, is no, as this... fun as ever.